sitting only two or three shots. I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. First, you get a swimming pool full of liquor. What's up guys, Peter here, and today we have a video about a secret overpowered badge that nobody really knows about. A lot of people do know what this badge is, but they don't really know what it does, and it makes your player so much better, and that's why I'm telling you guys about this video. So make sure you guys smash that like button down below. Let's again try to hit 500 likes. That means so much to me if we could hit that. And also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more daily NBA 2 get 17 content. And let's get right into it. So... Basically, there's a lot of badges this year that return from 2k16 There's a lot of badges that were just renamed a lot of badges that are combinations And then there's some brand new badges that a lot of people don't know what they are and obviously we have this whole new badge system with you have these five badges that you can upgrade to Hall of Fame, which is very overpowered. And then you also have these bronze badges that a lot of people sleep on and they won't really grind for and some people do grind for it but when they do realize what some of these bronze like some of these bronze badges really do for your player it'll make them so much more important even if they're just on bronze so i'm gonna tell you guys the badge right now it is defensive stopper yes so i know a lot of people do have this badge a lot of people think they know what it really does but actually it's a lot more overpowered than people think and it's a lot more useful than a lot of people really know so if we rewind to last year uh, we actually had this badge called Perimeter Lockdown Defender. Now, a lot of people did get it. It was very easy to get, and you kind of just automatically got it after you did like a certain thing. But uh, other than that, a lot of people got it, but uh, some people knew what it did. Some people didn't. So essentially what Perimeter Lockdown Defender did was when somebody shot on you. So say you had that on gold, and somebody shot from you from the corner, and they had corner specialist on gold. That badge would not work because perimeter locked on defender would negate the badge. And basically, if you were, as long as you contested somebody's shot, then basically they wouldn't be able to have their badges work. So basically their badges were useless. And that was very overpowered. And a lot of people didn't actually know that. Now, defensive stoppers, a very similar version of perimeter lockdown defender. So not only does it negate the opponent's badge, to a certain point to where the badge won't even work or the badge will barely work or just the level of it will drop which means that it'll basically really decrease the chances of making the shot uh, the badge description also mentions that it basically the uh, lowers the offensive skills and if you're talking about that in general you can mean dribbling so if say if you have defensive stopper they're not going to be able to dribble as well and they might get ripped but also, their shooting attributes could go down too. So if, say, you have defensive stopper and um, somebody shoots a shot on you and they have like a 95-3, maybe it goes down to like an 85 or something like that, which would be a very big difference. Now, obviously, we can't confirm that. We can't really test that out. But it is mentioned in the badge description. But the main overpowered thing about this is that it makes other people's badges work all the time that they spend on the badge. If you just have this one badge called Defensive Stopper, and all the badges that the other person grinded for will be negated. It's not going to be as effective, and you're going to be you're going to be playing a lot better defense. Now, obviously, the game isn't very realistic sometimes, and they'll make it on you. But regardless, I just wanted to tell you guys about defensive stopper because a lot of people do have it, and a lot of people post all these badge tutorials or watch it, but they don't even know what the badge does, and a lot of people might not grind for it because they don't know that. So now that you guys know, hopefully, it does really help you and. You guys can go out there and grind for the badge and i know a lot of people did notice like there's some things that people do notice uh which is like it does get you in better closeout animations uh, when somebody tries to blow by you off the dribble then it'll be harder you'll get in like these push animations or like these bump animations but other than that the main overpowered thing is like that badges thing and the attributes thing where it does really reduce that so anyway let me know what you guys think did you guys know that this was part of the badge because i know a lot of people i asked or a lot of people that I told said they didn't know. Also, speaking of badges, I will be coming out with a lot of badges, like badge tutorials, uh, within the next month, I guess, and that will include defensive stoppers as well. But uh, now that Christmas is like rolling out, a lot of people are getting the game. A lot of people want to know the best methods for getting all these badges. A lot of the badge tutorials out there are kind of old. They're from. I guess the beginning of the game when people didn't know as much so now that i guess people have kind of settled down a lot of things for grinding for badges people really know what's the best method i'm going to be coming out with a lot of badge tutorials so anyway thank you guys for watching again make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to this channel and let's aim for that 500 likes and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace